Over the past few weeks, there's been a lot of good and bad Bloxburg news. So today, I'm gonna have another yap session and build my mini Bloxburg city. In this video, we're going over Halloween changes, Bloxburg achievements, the winter update, and much more. Before we start, thank you for 187,000. We're getting really close to 190,000, so if you could subscribe and help me reach my goal, I'd really appreciate it. With that being said, let's start with some pretty unfortunate news. In the official Bloxburg Discord server, Froggy sent this message, stating that there is not going to be any updates around the beginning of November except for removing items, locations, and decorations from the Halloween event, which is definitely a little upsetting because the last real update we got was on October 10th, and that was part two of the Halloween update. But if we read the second part of the message, Froggy said they are focusing on the winter update and behind the scenes changes. Since it sounds like they're going to need a lot of time to make the winter update, I bet it'll be pretty good. I have no clue what they'll add, and there hasn't been any teasers for it. But it's also a little bit early for Christmas. We haven't even made it to Thanksgiving yet, so it makes sense why there's not teasers. Also, compared to previous Halloweens, this Halloween update was massive and definitely took a really long time to make, so I'm guessing that probably set them back a bit and that's why they're shifting the updates a bit. Froggy only mentioned no updates in the beginning of November, so that means it's still very possible to get an update around the middle to end of November. If we do get one, I doubt it'll be very big though. Let's shift the topic a bit and go over the player count. I have good news and bad news, so let's go over the good news first. A couple days ago, Bloxburg reached 9 billion visits, which for a Roblox game, that's really impressive. Now, we are only 1 billion visits away from receiving the 10 billion trophy. There's been a trophy for 1 billion and 5 billion, so I don't think they'll skip 10 billion. That's the good news, now let's go over the bad news. Bloxburg's player count is still steadily decreasing. Over the past week, the game has hovered around 20 to 25,000 players during the day and 7,000 during the night. That's definitely not terrible, it's still a lot of people, but if you look back a few years, Bloxburg consistently pulled 50 to 100,000 players every day. Since Bloxburg is not releasing any updates for at least a couple weeks, the player count will most likely keep going down. When the winter update does eventually release, there will be another spike in players, but it's up to the developers to figure out a way to maintain that player count. If they don't, it's going to be a constant loop of big updates temporarily spiking the player count and normal updates not doing much. We do need to take a step back though and realize how old Bloxburg is getting. Bloxburg has been around since 2016, which doesn't feel like it was long ago, but it's actually been over 8 years. I started playing Bloxburg right before I turned 10, and now I'm about to graduate. It's insane how long it's been, and the fact that Bloxburg still has a very active and very large fan base is mind-blowing. Only a few Roblox games have pulled off long-term success, especially at the level Bloxburg has had. So one day, the game will die down and come to an end. But don't think about that because there's no way it's happening anytime soon. Froggy runs the game again. He's one of the original developers and he knows what the community wants. So I doubt he would let the game die. We also still have so much stuff to look forward to, such as a map revamp, a school, new jobs, and pretty much everything else they mentioned in their official Q&A. If you want to see what they talked about, go watch my Q&A summary. That will be linked down in the description. Enough with that though, let's talk about some more recent changes. Bloxburg hosted a 2x ticket week. If you're just now finding out about that, unfortunately, you're two days late. Trick or treating, hunting ghosts, collecting fallen tickets, and every other ticket related feature was doubled. This went on from October 26th to October 31st. Don't worry though, if you still haven't collected tickets, you have until November 11th. That's because Bloxburg decided to extend the Halloween event in to November, which is kind of smart considering there is no early November update. I bet if the ticket system ever comes back, like next Halloween for example, collecting them will be at least a little bit quicker. Having to collect 25,000 tickets for the trophy was pretty time consuming, and for people that don't have that kind of time, it's a bit unfair. And for people that are trying to stock up on a lot of items, it makes it much more difficult. I do like the tickets though, it makes the seasonal items feel much more rewarding, but I think they shouldn't take an insane amount of time to collect. And now, my Mini Mike's Motors is complete, which means I'm done talking. That is pretty much everything interesting that has happened over the past few weeks. Make sure to comment what you think about the current direction of Bloxburg. All of my social medias are on the screen now and in the description if you want to follow me there. But that's it from me, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.